Fuck around, make my 40 pop. You, do you guys think this is where Naruto was actually sealed until post time skip? Or this is what happens? Yeah, is this like the is this like the beginning of the time skip is what you're asking? Not uh, even that. Yeah, more like is, is is Naruto coming back before we get to that point? I don't, time skip. I don't think what so. What was the net what was the title of the chapter again? Some someone look at the title of the chapter. Oh, yeah. It was something like the end is near, something like that, or nearing the end, something like that. Time, time drawing is, near. You know, so I definitely think I definitely think we're getting close to that time skip, and it might be the thing that seals Naruto away till then. I, I, I don't know. I mean, this might just be me, but I always thought that a Naruto and like a Kawaki, like they they probably have more bonding time together. And this might happen in the anime. I thought it, it could possibly be a certain situation where Naruto starts to train Kawaki even more. They build more of a bond, and then we get that actual sealing moment, and then he's actually going for good. Hmm. Yeah, I saw him playing more of a role before he disappeared, before he got sealed away. I thought that was more like a, um, an end game thing where he got sealed away. Yeah, and, and to be honest, I might just, this might just be my inner Naruto stand coming out. But this is specific yeah, to the this sealing. is where Boruto's story starts. <laughs> In fact, that's true. It, it very well might be. But specifically the sealing, do we think that Naruto was sealed by the Karma Seal? Nah, I think he was just sent to another dimension. Like how would you would you get deal with him? I mean, the like first the time, time space and due to did he use the karma seal to actually make that? It didn't it look like his it. eyes. It was his eyes, bro. Mm -hmm. it, it was just those, dojutsu. It emphasized. It emphasized the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. The same way that um same way that Jigen sent him to that other dimension, and he was just going to leave him there. I think Kawaki did the same thing. He left him with some food and stuff, though. Or right, what yeah, if he, he left him like time. the most luxurious mansion with just like maids and stuff like that because he loves him. Do you see do you see him sending him to like a desolate land or anything like that? <laughs> no, no, I I don't see that. I mean, he still loves him, right? So he's not gonna like. I mean, look, look, he was kind enough to uh, uh, take the wifey with him or or, or send. Uh, exactly, him, that's so. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it, it's Thank not you. like like if, if he's not in the Daiko Kuten dimension, like frozen, like suspended yeah. dimension, right? If it's not that, then he's definitely busting down. He knots in the other dimension. Let's keep it a buck. I mean, <laughs> yeah. after a certain point, there's nothing left to do. We I might mean, have some more sure. board tours and human warriors running around soon, bro. Yeah, check on Naruto and three years later, it's like I started a new family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, like, he, yeah, he grew a beard and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, couldn't nah. find me, bro. Y'all couldn't find me. <laughs> I, I, I feel was like, frustrated. I mean, he could just, you know, reverse summon himself using a toad, sure. But oh my why God. do that? Oh, shit. Why do I that when you can just smash? Like, like, come on. <laughs> and, and again, maybe that the, right to oh, oh. get to that dimension. No, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's, that think would be most why yeah, di That's why I think it's Daiko Kuten. It's got to be some weird. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, no, I, I, think, I think it's make Daiko sense. Kuten because he used the eye, not the karma seal, to teleport him. So I think that makes sense. When you were asking if the um, if he won't come back. Um, I, I think if you look at the flash forward scene, um, it says I'm going to send you to the same place I sent the seven. So I think at some point, obviously, they find out about it clearly. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't think that necessarily means that Naruto has been gone. He could have gotten sealed and then, God forbid, he comes back the next chapter. Like Boruto died and came back the next chapter. This is true. So, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I don't, I don't think he has to stay there. I think he just has to get sealed away for a period of time and then he can just come back. But I, I don't think he's just gone for years. He could be. And, it, and, and if, it, if that's the case, it makes sense that it would be the Daiko Kuten dimension for me. But yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. Yeah, that, that would and, be uh, wild if that's like, oh, I'm sorry to cut you off. That would be wild if he came back next chapter. That would kind of be underwhelming. Would, but you do make a point that Bort, yeah, Boruto came back like the immediate next chapter. So yeah, I can't put it past him. Facts. True. Shout out to Bouncy Nuggets. He shot us a $5 stupid shot. He said, which I think about the story moving forward. Uh, slash revolve his goal and suppose MC where it's nowhere to be found. Wait, hold on, I don't get it. Which I think about the story moving toward revolve. Of course, Kawaki's goal towards Does that Kawaki's mean resolve. The O2C clan. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I, I to be honest, I wouldn't completely mind it depending on what's actually happening in boards as well. Like, let's be like, if if the hidden leaf village like completely no, collapses, 
I want to see how Boruto maneuvers that. But of course, a lot of people are going to be interested to see, you know, Kawaki go on this Otsuki hunting mission. And I believe even earlier on, a lot of people want to see Sasuke's missions when he was actually, you know, reviewing a bunch of Otsuki stuff. And to be honest, Kawaki's missions are, go are going to be like significantly more interesting because he's going to be fighting. He's going to have that Kenshigi fight probably every single episode. Like if he's legitimately trying to kill all the Otsuki members. I think there's like a home planet of the Otsutsuki or something. I think it's possible i think it's possible that they have like a bunch of dimensions that they that they inhabitate that they habitate or you know <laughs> habitate, inhabit. whatever it's called. Wait, wait. Yeah. third time for charm yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the interesting thing you guys were saying earlier ida could like um assist kawaki in his goal of like hunting down the otsutsuki so i think he like Ida's definitely gonna like slave a bunch of people and then kind of be like look i can make the people love you and stuff the way they love me and on top of that, you want to hunt down the Otsutsuki. He said that out loud to Naruto, mm -hmm. so Ida knows about it. She knows his goal and everything. She can Sucks. literally approach him and be like, yo, ask me if the, like, where's the closest Otsutsuki. And then she could literally look through all the different dimensions and be like, here's one right now. You know? That's the crazy part about her ability, because it's Shibai's dojutsu ability or whatever. She got that transplant from Shibai Otsutsuki. So he was over here seeing everything in the world could spy on anybody on any dimension the same way she does you know she's tracking events across multiple dimensions in real time like oh the hokage are doing this ishiki died here and all this stuff happened with naruto over there like you know what i'm saying so it's like she's tracking events across all these different dimensions and, um what she has to do is like help kawaki and kawaki's gonna be like yeah you're useful so you can stick around like the whole is he gonna have a team taka thing i think him and Ida is enough. I, I don't. I feel like there's some weird energy going on with Damon and Himawari. Like he might try to stay close to her or something, and that might be the story element they use to separate Damon from Ida to to like make her more vulnerable. That's stuff. interesting. Right now, as as they're paired together, like it's untouchable. Like that wow. that duo is broken. Separate them narratively, you could attack, and Sarada could probably try to chidori the core of her scientific ninja tool or whatever. Like I, I don't know. I don't know how Sarada is supposed to be a combatant to that. But, so that's what they're going for. Nah, that's interesting that you actually bring that up, though, as far as, like, um, Himawari being the thing that breaks the uh, link between Ada and, and Damon, though. I, I don't know. I always felt like he was, like, a little boy, and the moment he sees, like, a cute girl or whatever, he's mm -hmm. not going to want to <laughs> sit next to his older sister all the time. He's going to be like, I'm cooler than that. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I work he with kids all the time. Those so I know how, I kind of know how that's going to work, and if he's, he's like, there's some intense some intensity about Himawari. And, then like, yeah. the way Boruto reacted to that, you could interpret that as, like, Boruto being like, I don't want to agree with the idea that you think Himawari's stronger than me. But it could also be like, yo, what are you feeling with my sister, bro? I do not approve. I'm the older brother, you know? So, like, I was, I'm going to relook that whole thing up uh, later as I work on the breakdown on my channel. But I definitely think it could be interpreted differently other than Himawari being, like, god tier. She just has some special quality that Damon's extra abilities that have yet to be explored triggers, you know? It's a knife. <laughs>